This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers. What is good? It's your boy Tico, guys. We are back with some Madden NFL 20, and today we're gonna go into customizations. Now, I'm gonna take you to three different tiers and levels of customization in Madden NFL 20. The first tier I'm gonna take you through is the regular customization option on the settings menu. You can go into it, you can customize, and you can do it the basic way by creating and adding to the roster that's currently on exhibition or anywhere else on the game. You can take it to any mode, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the creation center. And when we go into the creation center, we'll go from that part and we'll get things started where I can show you. All right, guys, so we're gonna create our player. Okay, so you know what you gotta do. You gotta go through the regular things by picking your team and your name, etc. But I wanna go into a more deeper part of the creation now. You know you can create your face in the face of the franchise QB1 or the franchise mode, but in the regular customization part of Madden, you cannot create a custom face. You have to take the default faces and make them the same way in previous Maddens that was on this generation console. All right, so now we're gonna go into the franchise mode and create a player now. You get to start and create that way. Now you get different archetypes, architects, builds, uh, whatever you wanna call that. You get different options to choose what type of player you wanna create, which is pretty dope and mad, and it explains to you exactly what attributes to be. So now we have top pick, mid round pick, and an undrafted pick, right? I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna pretty much go with the top pick. All right, so elusive player is who I would pick, something close to Zeke. And as you can see, I've created Low Key. Low Key originated from NCAA Football 7 on the PlayStation 2. He was a blonde head running back that played for Notre Dame. And I'm thinking about bringing him into Madden and actually making a series, but enough of that. You still get the appearance option in this. And then you go into the head option. Now the head option was not previously in the last customization part on the regular customize at the settings menu, no. But when you get into franchise mode, you can actually create a face. And the reason I wanted to go through this, because I didn't see enough illustrations or anything on, I don't know, the internet or YouTube that was breaking this down for people to understand. Because when I went into the game, I thought I could just go into the regular part where the settings customization was and make a player with a custom head. But it wasn't possible. It's only in franchise. And it's only in the franchise QB1 option. So. With that being said, my favorite part of it is the hair. I wish we had more hairstyles in the game. We do have the messy dreads, but I wish we had like full dreads so we could, you know, give uh, different options of dreads. I wish we were more, more hairstyles, excuse me, in Madden NFL 20. But for what we got, I am grateful for. And the biggest thing is the equipment too, because now we have new helmets, we have new shoes, we have more Jordans in the game, like the Warrens, Jordan gloves, we have Under Armour. And uh, the team over at EA, they added much more than what we usually would have in a Madden game. One thing I did notice too, as the years progress, they do add more and more and more into the game. And the sad thing about that is that we're gonna go into a new generation of console, which means that they're gonna leave this version of Madden behind and go into a bigger and better version, but it takes a little while to build. So hopefully they can use this version of it and just build on it and keep building on it where we can just have everything. Cause I wanna, I wanna make sure we have, me, maybe, me as a football fan, I wanna make sure that we have all these options there for us that we can use them and use them in a new game and be happy and be happy with our creations all right so that was low key's face kind of looks like low key from the ncaa 06 series so now i'm gonna go ahead and look at him now this is the first finished product that i did and i wanted y'all to see him up close to see what he's about all right so now we're gonna go into practice mode and look at low key now one of my favorite things about man is that we got the short tape the elbow tape which is dope i remember having that tape in ncaa 06 the old madden's on ps2 and now they have brought him back into madden nfl 20 check out low key he is short he is quick this dude is everything if you want to know how low key originated this guy was actually a mix of bo jackson and barry sanders together so i wanted to go in and touch his face up it was just a few things i wouldn't liken and uh, I wanted to change his eyebrow style, and I wanted to change the way his face looked, like his nose, his bridge, etc. Now you do have all these extra options in the head option of edit player. It reminds me a lot of the Grand Theft Auto create a player when you first create a player online in GTA 5. 
which I like. I like deep customization. I like where I can go in and just do what I want to do and make my character look just like I want him to look so I can carry him over to different games. You dig? All right, guys. So here is the finished product of Low Key from the Madden customization creation in franchise mode. I will go to the face of the franchise and kind of break that down for you as well. So if you had questions or concerns about that, I was bringing this video where you can actually see. But let's go ahead and go into my player and look this at the player, player card. card. All right, and of course, this is the thing they break down the architects and archetypes or whatever, excuse me. But yeah, you get to see everything. And I do have an X Factor player. He is an elusive back, 80 overall, 75 receiving back, and 63 overall in power. His core attributes are there. And of course, I was out there trying to get it. Now, you get the first free one. And I, I like that, man. I, I like that. I can unlock two more abilities, too, as well in this. So, I mean, it's just it's just something cool. It's something cool to do. It's something cool I like to play. And having this customization option makes the game way more fun. It just makes you want to play it more. It makes you fall in love with the character you create. Okay, so now we're going to go into face of the franchise QB1 in Madden. And you do have the head suite where you can do the heads. You have the basic hit, uh, basic edits. Advanced. And this is another thing face of the franchise finally gives us an option to create somebody who can go through college play and do what we do and you want it to look like you want it to look you know that's just the way i am about when it comes to creating because i back in the day i used to be huge on creations but as creations in in these games kind of straight away i kind of stopped creating and started you know putting more emphasis on a player that was my favorite player because i didn't it wasn't robust enough for me to stay on a game and just play with a creative player with a, with a default face which i didn't like but now that ea has brought back this option to madden now i'm going to be using my creative player a lot more and you'll see way more videos uploaded so hit that like button if you guys want more breakdowns about things in madden 20 and smack that like button if you want to see more and leave a comment below let me know what you guys think about the creation suite because like i said i wanted to dedicate a video to you guys put it out on YouTube and into the community to see what the creations offer in Madden I try to do things that are totally different from what everybody else is doing and uh, we'll get there and subscribe to the channel if you want more Madden breakdowns and if you want to see more crazy videos like this All right so I'm gonna go ahead and go through this and show you guys this up, up fast and then the next scene will be going into looking at Loki's finished product of him being created running uh, playing in-game gameplay, etc. Where you guys can really see this dude at his best. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and let you guys watch the gameplay and just look at what's going on. I'm gonna stop babbling. It's your boy, and like I said, shout out to the game changers for giving me this opportunity to do this and to actually be great like I am with these videos, man. So it's a blessing. It's a gain of 14. 
13 out of just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. And that's the responsible way of getting ready for a game. You go through situations with your stick. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. And so even though he caught it, he turned it into much more. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 14. 